With online applications, the new favorite model, it can become challenging to keep track of where you've applied and what the job even was. So Alex Huerta joins us today with some really valuable tips, right? Yes. Well, during the job application process, you might end up applying for dozens of jobs. You know, and this can get very confusing. Worst case scenario is that they call you and you don't remember what job they're, you applied for. And then you ask, what is the job this is? Oh, so that's we don't worst. want this, right? So today we'll be going over some tips on how to stay organized with the job application. Very good. So our first bullet point, simplify your search. What do you mean by that? Simplifying your search can really pay off. You know, um, focus on quality and not quantity. Only apply to those jobs that you are qualified for and make each application count. Yeah, and certainly uh, apply to the jobs you'll enjoy too, yes, right? That's really course. important. And after you apply, you should probably keep track of those by keeping a list. Yes, an Excel spreadsheet can really help you stay organized. You know, making a table with the company name, the contact information, the what position you're applying for can really pay, and the date you submitted the application. That's very important as well. This can really pay off in the long run. It will save you time and energy. Very good. And of course, you should also keep a separate list of applications. Why is that so important? This is very important. This is keep a separate list of applications that you haven't applied for because um, you can keep the company information, the information, the contact information and as well as the position and the most most importantly when the application is due. So that way you'll know, you'll keep on track. You need to also write down what materials you've completed and which ones you're yet to complete. And that's leading to my next question. How do you keep track of who you've already talked to? Yes, well, make notes of, hiring, of conversations you've had with hiring managers or contacts at an organization. This way, when you write your follow-up in an email, you can mention what you previously talked about and you can craft a memorable follow-up letter. Very good, yes. Alex. Great tips there. Thank you so much. Remember, you can put these to good use. We hope that you took advantage of them.